The thing is, you, you can't see this, but, but they've already been told off yeah. uh, backstage. They were for, talking for, when we were doing talking. our first bit. So it's going to be carnage. What have fans got in store for them? Um, well, well, we're going to do... There's a song I wrote called The Killing of Georgie, which is about a homosexual friend of mine got killed in New York, and it's got... You tell the story because of your mum. When I was a kid, uh, you know, my mum used to call me theatrical, highly strong, which is a sort of polite way of saying gay. Nothing's changed. And, the, <laughs> and she bought that record for me and put it in my sort of sock drawers and I bought you a little record. Have a listen to it. And it was that song, Killing of Georgie, which wow. is a really beautiful song. And I think for me as a young gay kid, it was like, I've never heard that word in a song before, the word gay. I was like, where's that? You know, mm. I only really heard it as an insult at school. So it was... Yeah. It was a moment, you know, for me as a teenager. So you've yeah. got that song that you're going to perform, but well, are you yeah. going to be doing your hits and, you know, yeah. delighting the fans? What, what yeah. can we expect? Rod's only got hits. I mean, it's like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like you go, I went Very to see him in New York a few couple of years ago and my band member was like, could you shut up every song I was literally screeching at the top of my voice? Like, ah. Flattered. <laughs> it's the truth, you know, it's, it's all about... Why didn't you come and say hello backstage? I thought, you know, I was watching you and it's like, you know, I really enjoyed it. I don't, sometimes the worst thing you can do is annoy someone after they've just come off no, the No, you would never annoy you. <laughs> well, next time I'm coming, but I won't have to, will I, because I'm no, going to be on stage with you. We'll kick it. off on the 24th of June yeah. in Plymouth. Plymouth. That's it, that's Plymouth. it. Plymouth. Plymouth. And, and, George, do you remember the first time you saw Rod perform? 1970, Lewis Shemodian. Oh. <laughs> My brother Richard was the Rod Stewart obsessive. He looked right. like Rod, he was super cool. And I used to hear all the music from his bedroom, so it was like, here's what you've got to get into, kid. Mm. If you want to go through the door of fabulousness, oh. Rod yeah. Stewart, Alex Cooper, Bowie, all of that. Yeah. My brother King Richard, biggest Rod Stewart fan on the planet, and Good passed old. him on to me. Good old Thank Richard. <laughs> <laughs> now, so Elton John, you know, he's performing at Glastonbury. He said it's going to be his last, you know, performance. He wants to take a bit of a break. Do you think that's something, Rod, you're thinking about maybe, you know... Yes. After... <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't I, you know, I don't need a break because I'm not fit. I re I'm really fit and I can do it, but... Just scaling back, maybe. I, I just want to, I just want to branch off and do something else. I've done a swing album with Jules Holland, who's the wonderful piano yeah, player in his amazing. band. That'll be coming out next year. And just drop the rock stuff for a little while. Um... So many, times, so many times in your life you can sing hot legs and you think I'm sexy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we know, don't we? You know, yeah. we know. I'm getting on we know. now, darling. <laughs> <laughs> right, start uh, asking that question. Uh, George, you know, you, you and the band, you've just performed uh, in Vegas, right? Yeah. I mean, what, what's life like on the road now in comparison to back, on, back in the day? So much more fun now. Uh, well, that's it. I mean, yeah. outfit changes, something we were talking about. Yeah. Beyonce's obviously touring around. She, she does nine a night. I mean, I'm not going to compete with Beyonce. Nine, yeah, but <laughs> nine <laughs> outfit yeah. changes a night. Oh, I do four. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, just, when you show business. Very true. Well, we should, I maybe get we criticised. should be doing the one show I next door. We should go and change. Oh. Really, you get criticised for changing outfits? Yeah. I'm surprised. Really? But, but... You keep changing because I want to entertain. Yeah, why Music not? Music critics are entertaining. He went off. They, they say, oh, he went off for have a rest because he was tired. No, sweat me bollocks <laughs> off. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for any language there, I have to God. say. Sorry for any bad language. Yeah, it's a family show. At least it wasn't me on. this time, which is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of family, though, yeah, yeah congratulations. congratulations. Your grandfather again? Yeah. No, not father again. <laughs> <laughs> I said grandfather. Oh, no. My banana's back in the fruit box, darling. <laughs> family show. I apologise. <laughs> family show. I said no, two, two grandfathers. Grand... Yeah. <laughs> I'm father. Uh, two grandchildren. Can we start the show again? <laughs> oh, I'm looking in the Celtic outfits. Go quickly right. say hello to my mate Ethan. Say hello, go on, oh, Ethan. Ethan, hello, mate, how are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> right, let's get Let's get it back on track. We're a lovely little family show. We're having a lovely time. <laughs> well, listen, good luck with the tour. As you said earlier, it starts on the 24th of June in Plymouth, so if you're in the area, go and have a look at these two. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you can already tell it's going to be amazing. Uh, now, from two star performers to a whole troupe who...